Difficult conversations. Is there a conversation you've been putting off? Is there a coworker or family member with whom you need to talk but don't? Maybe you've tried and it didn't turn out as you had hoped. Or maybe you fear that talking will only make things worse. Whatever the reason, you feel stuck and you'd like to free up that energy for more useful purposes. One of the most common reasons I hear in my workshops for not holding difficult conversations is that people don't know how to begin. Here are a few conversation openers I've picked up over the years in and used many times. I'd like to discuss something with you that I think will help us work together better. I think we may have different ideas about money when you have some time. I'd like to talk about it. I'd like to hear your thoughts on budgeting. Do you have a minute? I need your help with what just happened, or I need your help with verbalize my feeling. Can we talk? I'd like to see if we might reach a better understanding about discipline the kids. I really want to hear your thoughts on this. All of these openers help to create an environment of respect and mutual purpose. You can say almost anything as long as you maintain these two critical conditions. Practice, practice, practice. The art of conversation is like any art. With continued practice, you acquire skill and ease. You, too, can create better working and family relationships, ease communication problems, and improve the quality of your environment. Here are three tips to get you started. One, a successful outcome will depend on two things, how you are and what you say. How you are, centered, supportive, curious, problem-solving, will greatly influence what you say. 2. Know and return to your purpose at difficult moments. 3. Practice the conversation before holding the real one either mentally or with a friend. Try out different scenarios and visualize yourself handling each with ease. Envision the outcome you're hoping for. Pray always for each other.